Hey there Capricorn, what's up, what's good, what's happening? Welcome in, welcome back. This is going to be just a general message, so take what fits your situation and leave what doesn't. If none of this hits home for you, just try a different message. We're going to use the Light Series Tarot today, see what comes out for Capricorn. Please and thank you, Spirit. Four of Wands. I'm hearing getting out more. Even if it's going to someone else's house for a little bit, you're still getting out of the house. You're still going out and doing something. This could even be just a nice long drive. Let's see, what else do we have here for Capricorn? Death, rebirth. Yeah, something new. I saw the Hermit at the bottom of the deck. It's the only card that caught my attention during the shuffle. So some of you guys have been in the house or you just haven't really been making plans. Maybe you've been busy, you know, or maybe you just haven't been feeling up to it. Either way, it looks like that phase is kind of coming to an end and um, you're getting out more. You're meeting more people. Some of you guys might be starting up a new dating app. Be really careful with that stuff, you guys. Um, but we do have 4 and then 13, which is a 4, so 44 could be significant. I feel like you have healthy relationships surrounding you right now. Maybe there could have been a major ending recently. Yeah, but it looks like it went very, um, it went very well. 4 of Wands to 6 of Wands. Next, ooh. Yeah, that's the energy that's just... I can't get to you anymore. Four pentacles. So you could have this habit, like a nasty habit that you're trying to quit. Um, but this could also be a person, a relationship, or maybe even just a place that's no good for you. Um, some of you guys might be having some financial troubles unable to work from home so you've got to pick up oddball jobs that could also be what's going on here or you're just fighting yourself you know um when you get that random moment where you're like maybe I should just reach out maybe I should text them or get a hold of them or and it's like you're really trying to hold back some of you guys this is about your shadow right maybe you have a few choice words for somebody but you're holding back because you don't want to be toxic you know what I mean so some of you guys, it could just be that you've got this nasty habit that you're still holding on to a little bit. Um, it takes time to break a habit, so give yourself that time. Um, be patient with yourself. One second at a time if you have to, you know what I mean? But um, for others of you, this could be you holding back from a very toxic person situation. I feel like you've already moved on, so this would be taking some backs, you know, some steps backwards, and I don't want to see you guys do that. Six of Wands and 15, which breaks down to another six. So lots of fours and sixes. Everything breaks down to either a four or a six. Both of those numbers talk about solid foundations, balance, and harmony. So whatever it is that's in question here, because the four of wands can be several different things. This could be the workplace. This could be the home, the friend group, the family. This could even be childhood, places you used to live. Something's coming to an end because you want it to come to an end here. It's time to move on. And it could be very hard, but you are doing it. So let's see, what else do we have? Yep. The High Priestess, you're doing it because you know your head, your heart, your soul, your spirit are all telling you, I have to do this. I have to do this. Look at you closing your eyes and going within. This is deep internal work that you've been doing. Maybe some of you guys are having a hard time getting back out there. Maybe this is why you've been in hermit mode because you've been working on this or mourning a loss, right? If these are friendships that, unfortunately, not as friendly as you thought, right? 
or if this is work you were busy finding other work and trying to you know contain yourself while you have to finish out the two weeks you know what i mean before you do start the new job or however long it takes right ace of swords yes that's the truth it's also about a cut so anything that you had to cut out It was absolutely with a reason and with a purpose. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, and there's the new balanced foundation beginnings, seeds that you're planting, these new relationships you're coming into when you're ready, you know, that job application that you get a call back, we like to set up an interview. Oh my gosh. And there is the King of Pentacles. That's the the hiring. That's who would hire you in. Queen of Pentacles. So that's like, I just want all of my um, managers to interview you. And then the supervisor here is the one that's going to... Yeah, wow. If this is a job, you definitely are getting a better position here. If this isn't work, it could still be financial. So as one ending takes place, it looks like there are definitely new beginnings here for you. You might want to save up your money. The Four of Pentacles can also be talking about don't be uh, frivolous with your money, especially if you have spending habits. Try not to do that spending stuff this week. I almost said this month, so I don't know. Week, month, four to six weeks, right? What else do we have here for Capricorn? I got Scorpio, Capricorn, Pisces energy on the table so far. The Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, you're receiving something new here. Something balanced. Something that you may have asked for. A blessing that you knew was for you. You were just clearing the way so it could come in. Or that better job, better pay insurance better health benefits whatever the case might be closer to home there it is queen of pentacles and there you are with the job because you know your worth and your value mm -hmm. and there could have been some confusion or distraction energy coming in but you're holding on to what you know four of pentacles high priestess you are holding on to what it is you know especially when you go from that to the ace of swords i know this is for me. I will receive it. And here I am holding it because I always knew I'd be here no matter what I was up against. Look at that. I knew I would receive this. You're probably receiving other things as well, but there's one specific thing that you've been waiting on. It is here. Genuine. Oh, I love that. Planning romantic date. See, this is something very sweet, very kind, very genuine, heartfelt, there could definitely be ancestors involved with this, especially with the family, the mommy energy here. Somebody is loving you unconditionally from the other side, helping you fight in battles that you don't even know because of how connected and protected and safe you are. They're holding you tight. They're helping you overcome whatever this is. For some of you, you might be breaking a generational thing here. Habit or, you know, everybody goes through this. Everybody experiences this. You're going to be the first one that doesn't. Yep. Five of Pentacles. Definitely be smart with your money this week, this month, whatever it happens to be. Five of Pentacles. And then what's next? The Strength card. Exactly. Even when you didn't have it and it felt like all was lost, you held on to what you know. You know. Plant the seeds, reap the rewards, fruits of my labor. And look at how great I'm going to be. Look at where you were and look at how you got through it. Sorry for bumping the stand there. I don't usually do that. Strength card. You're darn right. Two of Cups.
You are aligned for some really, really beautiful things coming in. You're aligned with it. So stay in that alignment. Stay in that worth and value. Know what's for you is for you. Things might try to come up, but if you hold tight to what you know, this ain't nothing. <laughs> Anyways, we've got Scorpio, Capricorn, Pisces, Capricorn, and Leo on the board. I'm going to leave it here. I hope this helps who it needs to, how it needs to. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Until then, stay beautiful.